So we just covered the triangle laws using SOHCAHTOA, using Pythagorean's theorem. Let's apply them. Let's apply them to a triangle. We're given this triangle and we're given an angle and a length. And the thing is, to solve these kind of triangles, there's many, many ways to go about it. Um, in our case, let's pick an arbitrary side we want to start with. Let's say I want to solve this length right here. Let's call it x. It's an unknown. I don't know what this length is. It's x. Great. But what do I got? I got this length and this angle. So I start looking and thinking, how do I solve this? Well, if I'm looking at this angle, this x is opposite that angle, and this 2 is adjacent to it. We don't know anything about the hypotenuse yet. So which one involves opposite and adjacent? The two things I know about, or want to know about. Tan. According to this, I can write, in fact, I'll switch colors to keep it differentiated. I can write tan of 60. That's equal to opposite, toa, opposite, in this case, x over adjacent, 2. Great. Now I just have an equation I have to solve for x. Well, if I want to solve for x, I've got to multiply both sides by 2. So I get 2 times, well, I'm going to just skip that for a second. These cancel, so I get x on this side. Tan of 60. Well, I'd have to go to my calculator. I'd punch that into my calculator, and I purposely chose numbers that I knew would work out to something I know. Tan of 60 is actually going to be the square root of 3. So I know x is equal to 2 times the square root of 3. That's this length here. And if I wanted to, I could evaluate that as a number. And like always, I could take the square root of 3, get the rough decimal number, multiply that by 2, and have a rough number. But this is nice and exact, so I'll leave it how it is for now. Great. So I've got this length. Well, let's say I wanted to find the hypotenuse length, which I can call y. I guess I could have called it h if I wanted, but I'll call it y. Well, how do I solve this? Again, there's a number of ways. I could use so, I could use ca, basically I could use sine or cos, relate this angle to one of these lengths that I now know and relate it to this. Or I could also use Pythagorean theorem since I know these two lengths now. Either way, or any of those three ways will get us the solution. So let's try using Pythagorean theorem to mix it up a bit. So we know y squared is equal to 2 squared plus x squared. And we know x is actually 2 times square root 3. So all that squared. Great. So what is y equal to? y squared is equal to 4 and plus, remember if you're taking this square of this, you square both terms. So square root 3 is 3. Square root of 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So this becomes 12, which means y squared is equal to 16. If we want to cancel out a square, we take square root of both sides, or put it to the power of one half. Remember, same difference, same meaning. So we get y equals 4. I've got my hypotenuse length now. I've got all the lengths. And now if I want to solve this angle, there's so many ways I can go about it. I mean, I've got all my lengths, so I can use any of SOHCAHTOA. And that's what we'll start with. We'll do that way for now. So let's say I want to solve this length. Well, I'll use this one and this one. I already know, well actually, you know what? Let's use nice numbers, nice easy numbers that I've got. I've got a 2 here, I've got a 4. So if I want to use the opposite, or if I want to do this angle, this is opposite, this is hypotenuse, I use sine. So I can write sine of, ooh, never defined what this is, I'll call it phi. Whatever symbol I want to use. It's just a placeholder because I don't know what this is yet. Well, sine of this is going to be opposite so 2 over hypotenuse, 4. So in other words, phi, as always, I want to take the, get it on its own. Let's draw a line. So sine to the minus 1 of sine of phi, to cancel it and leave me with phi, is equal to sine to the minus 1 of, well, this is in essence 1 half. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. So phi equals sine to the minus 1 of 1 half, which we'd actually find is 30. Punch that in your calculator. Sine to the minus 1 of 0.5 is going to give you 30 degrees. So that would have solved this angle. But I could have actually saved myself some work. I didn't need to use sine. I, didn't, I could have used cos, as I said. I could use tan. But there's one other thing that we haven't looked at. 
And that's the idea that the angles within a triangle adds up to 180. All of these angles add up to 180. So 180 degrees equals 60 degrees. Remember this is a 90 plus the phi. So basically we'd say phi equals 180 minus 60 minus 90 or 30 degrees. The key idea is there's so many ways to solve these equations. As long as you have at least one length and any other number, you're going to be able to solve this triangle and get every single term you need. So we looked at many ways. Try these kind of triangles out. Make sure you're comfortable with these laws. You're going to see they're pretty important to know.